Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing about how to reset the password of an administrator user in Windows Server. So as we have seen in the earlier videos, when we create a server, Windows Server from an AMI, we sometimes get the issue of the password is not available. So we will be discussing what steps we need to perform and we'll be showing you the demo of the same. So the error message which uh, we will be getting will be the instance was launched from a custom AMI or the default password has been changed and the disc short description about this error message will be the password is not available. So in order to resolve this issue, we need to perform certain steps. So first we need to stop the EC2 instance for which we are facing this password issue. Then we need to detach the volume from this EC2 server and have to attach it to one of the existing EC2 server, which should be the Windows server in our case. The uh, next po important point which we should be uh, keeping in mind is that the server where we will be attaching the volume should be in the same availability zone. So as we have uh, discussed earlier also, the volume will be attached to the server in the same availability zone. So, so suppose your Windows Server is in US East 2A and your volume is in US East 2B, then the volumes will not be able to attach since they are the instance will not be available. So both the servers and the volume should be in the same availability zone. After attaching the volumes to the uh, Windows Server, we need to log into the server and there we will be installing a rescue tool ec2 rescue tool which is being provided by amazon itself and we need to perform certain steps which will help us to resolve this issue after doing that we have again detached the volume and then attach it back to the server and we'll start the server so the complete step will help us to resolve the issue so let's jump onto the console and we will check so for this demo i have already created a server from my ami and we will be performing the same steps. So this is my server. So I will show you first what error message we will get. So when we click on the get password, this is the error message which we will be getting up. So the password is not available and the error message which we have discussed earlier. So in order to resolve this, first we need to put this instance into a stop state. So it's getting stopped now. Let's wait for this to be completed up. And if you see, we have the servers in the same availability zone. So this is in US 2B and the server where we will be attaching is also in US 2B. So this will also help us to resolve this issue. So now what we need to do is we need to select this instance. We'll go to the storage device and will click on this volume so this is the volume first we need to detach this volume so this volume is now in an available state now we will attach this volume to an instance so this is our instance where we will be attaching this and the device name will be the same we will not make any changes to the device name so now the volume is being attached. We will go to the server where we have attached. We'll do a RDP to this server. So first we need to download the remote client and then I will do a get password. So I have the PEM key available with me and we'll decrypt the password. Sorry, I guess, yeah, this is the PEM key. So I'll just copy this and we'll open the RDP. Next, I have to mention the local administrator user, then the password. Yes. So in the meantime, while it's being getting loaded, we have to install the ec2 rescue so this is the url for the same so i will just copy and we'll open it into our server so we'll open the browser i 
So this is the Internet Explorer. We'll paste the file here. So this is the S3 location where Amazon has added. So for the security purposes, we need to add this URL. We'll do a save as. We'll save it on the desktop itself. So this is being downloaded. The next step is we need to unzip this file. So we'll extract all here. Now we have all our files open. Now we need to do a EC2 rescue. So here we have to accept the license agreement. I agree. Then this is the utility which is being used so we'll click on next we'll click on the offline instance now here is the disk which you have mapped and the device path is this so just validate the device path name so xvdf is the path name where we have mentioned so we'll do a next we'll confirm that this is the volume which we need to Then we need to click on the diagnose and rescue. And we, this is the summary. So we will click the next button. Detected possible issues. See here, it's being setting up that the EC2 set password is having some issues. So we'll select that and we'll do our next. So this will resolve our issue. So basically what happens is the EC2 set password get disabled when we create it from the AMI and with this utility, we will be able to resolve that issue. So now we are done with these steps. So we'll go to again to the storage of this device. And I guess I need to refresh it so that i can see the volumes <laughs> so we'll select this we'll go to the storage and this is the volume so we will detach this volume now it should be in the available state so let's wait for this to be completed So it's now being detached. Now what we'll do is we will attach it back to the stop server and the path should be dev sda1. So this is done. Now we need to start the server. We will go to this and we'll check the device name is dev sda1. And currently since this is not being refreshed, so I just refresh it once again. So here we go to the storage and the block device is being done. So we will do a start instance and we'll wait for the server to be started up. I will pause the video while the server is getting booted up and we'll see what uh, if the error message is being resolved or not. So now the server is up and running. We will select this server and we'll go to the connect and in the RDP, we'll click on the get password. Now it's asking us to upload the PEM key, which is being used for creating this server. Earlier, we were getting this message. Then we will select the PEM key and we'll decrypt the password. So we are now able to access this password. So with these steps, we will be able to resolve this issue. And in the, uh, the description section, I will mention the link of this EC2 rescue tool so that you can use in order to resolve this issue. Hope you have liked the video. Please do subscribe and like our channel. See you soon again. Thank you.